Father God, the divine spark within us all. We gather together this evening or morning for some of you to join our hearts and minds in this virtual time and space. We have adapted to a new way of living and we are grateful for the opportunity to be able to unite across many continents. In this service, we ask that we receive the teachings of spiritualism and that we may grow from these teachings. And as we have asked for the healing, we know and trust that our thoughts reach out to our loved ones across what seems a great divide to us. And we ask that they join with us within this virtual time and space so that they may reach out to us and remind us of their presence within our world and lives. Amen. So these words come from Nawa Sabian, and Nawa is a Lebanese born poet, philosopher, and rights activist. And she's currently living in Ontario, Canada. And she writes a lot of spiritual and uplifting poetry and words. And this is one of her short extracts, and it's called The Power of Words. Your words can be more healing than any kind of medicine. They can be more toxic than any kind of poison. They can ease a mind of its nagging questions. They can relieve a heart from its doubts. They can free a heart from its chains that keep holding on, that make it fear letting go. They can spring hope into a deserted heart. They can shatter a soul, barely holding on to the pieces that make it strong. They can be a shelter for the broken and a cannon of motivation for those who need confidence. They can build mountains of confidence and build stairs to those dreams that hide above the clouds. They can dig holes into the darkness and deepest of scars. They can strike happiness into the souls in most need of it. And they can strike sadness into the souls of those most far away from it. So before you speak, ask yourself if your words are true. If they are not, then you are fooling the hopeless into hope that wouldn't last. You are breaking down walls temporarily that will be built up even higher afterwards. Say what the truth and genuineness in your heart need to say. Say no more. Spiritualist teachings, such as the reading we've just heard, and the address. Help us to understand a little bit more about who we are, our purpose, what is life? Many of us find ourselves at a point in time wondering what is our purpose? Where are we going? Perhaps we have achieved all the things that we've wanted to achieve and we reach a good age and then think, and now what? Or perhaps we are in our youth and we are looking towards the future and wondering, what is the point? Where are we going? 
Spiritualist teaching has helped me to understand those questions. And at first, when you hear the principles, which are a guiding philosophy within our religion of spiritualism, they may perhaps be elusive. They may not quite help you to know exactly what it is you're looking for. But the beauty, the beauty of those principles is that they gain a deeper depth as you grow. The more that you search, the more that you ask questions, they expand out. And as your soul seeks the truth, the meaning becomes greater and deeper within each principle. It is the continuous existence of the human soul that was perhaps most elusive at first. It's a big concept that our soul, our being continues and if it continues, where does it continue to? What does it mean? Part of its meaning is that we are life and that we are here to live a life. And this life will have its ups and downs. There will be those that will use harsh words and those who will use kind words. But no one but you can use the harshest or the gentlest of words within your own consciousness, within your own mind. And part of your search for life and understanding may help you to realize this that our life here is a journey, a soul's journey, that perhaps we existed in an embryonic form to begin with. And I like to think of this life in a world of matter as perhaps a preschool. We are just on the beginning, our soul is on the beginning of its journey of life of existence. And as we enter this world, we are not born with all the answers. We are vulnerable. And it takes us time to learn and appreciate our self awareness. And as we grow, we become more aware of others. And we start to understand the consequences of our actions, our thoughts and deeds. And as we start to appreciate these things, we learn that there is more to life than just the material things. This world is full of all sorts of complexities, but yet we are complex and simple all at the same time. We are a soul on a journey we are in a physical form at this point in time. And we have the constraints of that physical life and its lessons throughout our journey. Some of us appear to have more blessed paths than others, but that is a perception, a perception you create. Where you place the importance of life is up to you. And when you start to breathe in deeper to the continuous existence of the human soul, and you realize that there is life beyond this physical world, it brings a new meaning to life. Life in the physical material world is only a brief part of the journey because our human soul carries on beyond physical death. That means there is a continuation of life, life. 
And through our challenges, our joys, our triumphs, our ups and downs of this physical existence, simple in some ways and yet so complex. We learn more and more about ourselves. Our soul takes lessons. Just as our little minds in our physical form learn lessons in school. And we can't wait for our freedom when we finish the teachings within our schooling years. And we think that we know it all, that we have reached a point where we don't need to learn anymore. But that's not true. Because every day, every day is an opportunity a lesson, a, a point at which we may, our soul may grow to find the answers to the bigger questions. And if it's true, and I do believe it is because I have had the evidence for myself beyond the world of matter, that there is life, life beyond this physical existence, then it makes you think, how am I living my life here? Am I living to my fullest potential? What can I do to be a better soul? Where is that teaching going to take me in that next phase of life? And we can take inspiration from all sorts of myths and legends and religions. And it's the story or the myth within ancient Egypt, the hall of truth, where Anubis takes the heart of a soul and it is witnessed by all the gods and everybody that can possibly be there. And that heart is weighed upon the great golden scale. And it is done in the judgment of Osiris. And the goddess Met comes and stands on the other side of that golden scale and places a feather. And should that soul's heart be as light as a feather, it moves forward through the hall of truth. Well, I believe that we can take something of this story, myth, from the ancient Egyptians, and we can apply it to the continuous existence of the human soul. Because through our growth in this world, in this life, our soul learns lessons and our heart perhaps grows lighter or heavier through those lessons. Don't you think that when you have an argument or an upsetting experience with someone, you feel heavy in the heart. And when you feel love and joyful, you feel light within your heart. And this is just a simple analogy. But I know that through the teachings of this life, our soul and our heart will be as light or as heavy as we may make it. And I like to think that perhaps when we move forward beyond this physical world into the hall of truth, where our, perhaps our soul is met by some form of weighing that perhaps we all do go to the spirit world, but we may move to a different dimension within the spirit world, dependent on how heavy or light our heart might be. 
And I pose this question to you all to ponder. What would you like to be when your soul grows up? because our soul is on a journey of growth. Every day is an opportunity, a lesson. And our soul will continue to grow. All I know at this point in time is that I would like my soul to be as light as a feather when I reach that doorway between the world of matter to the world of spirit. I don't want to leave this world feeling heavy in my heart and soul. I want to do everything that I can without regret to be the best that I can be. Because perhaps in that next world, there may be more teachings, but perhaps there's an opportunity to teach others. And I hope and I pray that through my experience within this world and yours, that we will be light within our heart and soul. Father God, the divine spark of life within us all, we send our gratitude to those in the spirit world that have given us some words of wisdom to ponder and contemplate, to help us to learn and grow within this world. We are grateful for the presence of the spirit world who have certainly worked hard to come forward this evening to touch our hearts and minds, to remind us that they are still a part of our world, our life, that love knows no boundaries. And we acknowledge that there will come a time when we will be reunited but for now, we live with our hearts light and full of our love for our loved ones. Amen. <laughs>